Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our Demo Days of Summer series. For those of you joining us for the first time, my name is Shayla Smith, an Account Development Executive at Call Tower. My role here is to keep our current accounts informed about the latest communication solutions we offer, ensuring you're fully leveraging Call Tower services. In our first episode, we, we focused on Microsoft Teams calling and its features. Today, we're diving into another powerful tool, Cisco WebEx Calling. We're excited to demonstrate how this solution can enhance your business communication. I'm joined today by Sam Barron. Sam, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, thanks, Shayla. Hey, everybody, it's good to meet you guys. Uh, I'm Sam Barron. I'm one of the directors here at Call Tower. Where we're going to start is we're going to give you an overview of the different options you have in a Cisco world to provide voice services to various applications that Cisco came out with over the years, give you a little history on kind of where Call Tower comes into play. And then right from there, we're gonna dive right into a demonstration um, more in regards to the WebEx application itself. So what WebEx calling looks like from an end user perspective. We're gonna to touch on different features that you can build out within the application. <clears throat> and then also hit on and highlight some points on E911 service, which is important in the telecom space. To give you a little background, Call Tower has been around for about 20 plus years. Uh, Call Tower actually originally started as a hosted call manager organization. So those of you who aren't familiar with, with Cisco, Cisco created Call Manager as a line key phone system back in, you know, the year, you know, I, I messed that up, Shale. I'm gonna restart. <laughs> totally fine, it's totally fine. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Cisco created Call Manager back in the day for organizations that wanted to leverage a line key phone system. As the industry started taking off and a lot more organizations started adopting unified communication solutions, um, what Cisco did is they gave companies different options to enable calling in various manners. One of the options was you could have call manager on your premise. You could go to a third party hosting provider like Call Tower, for example, where we started in 2002 hosting different versions of Call Manager. That was back in the early 3.x days. And then we migrated customers all the way up to versions 14.x. And then what Cisco did is they created WebEx Calling to replace the Call Manager and HCS backbone. That was the either hosted Call Manager environment or premise-based environment. So what we're talking about today and what we're going to be demoing for you guys today is the options that you have to enable WebEx Calling. So WebEx Calling is a cloud-based unified communication application that Cisco created to replace the traditional call manager feature and functionality set, still hitting on traditional line key phone system requirements. You can enable various types of phones within this platform, things like Cisco IP phones or even third-party SIP phones now within this platform. <clears throat> the real benefit of WebEx Calling is it will hit on a majority of the requirements that you guys have from a communication perspective while consolidating all that into a single application from a user end experience as well as an administrative experience. So it's a really clean way to kind of build all your communication services directly into a single application. Now where Call Tower comes into play is we're one of Cisco's premier partners. So not only are we providing the um, voice services directly into WebEx calling, we're also providing the licensing experience if that's something you want to leverage through Call Tower. So we're able to provide all of the WebEx calling suite of products all the way down to the standard WebEx calling meeting application, all the way up to the you know, advanced contact center solution set that you can build out within WebEx contact center. And what's important for you guys to understand is through this planning phase, there's various ways that um, organizations can implement the WebEx calling application. You can buy your own licensing and you can buy your own dial tone providers. Now, in a call tower world, what we're doing is we're providing the both the, the licensing as well as the dial tone, but we're allowing organizations to leverage us for the implementation aspect of providing the complete phone system installation as well as the um, administrative experience for things like move ad changes, building out your auto attendance, your call queues, your user base, assigning phone numbers. All that will be handled by a dedicated project manager on the call tower side. So when Cisco created WebEx Calling, they did something very similar to what Microsoft did as well as Zoom did, and they allowed third parties like Call Tower, for example, to integrate our voice infrastructure directly into the WebEx Calling application. The reason why organizations are going down this direction versus getting their own dial tone or buying dial tone from a third party is they want to 
a lot of companies want to consolidate where they're getting their voice services from as well as their licensing from because what that does is that consolidates things like support that consolidates things like where you're managing the system from and it's also a single point of you know contact to reach out to for anything in regards to your phone system so call tower through and through will manage the project as well as support it from start to finish now what it looks like from a basic ccp connection i talked about cisco opening up the option for third parties to connect their voice services indirectly to their webex application there's two components to this there's the webex calling application that we're going to be demoing for you guys today in just a bit here and then there's also the webex contact center portion think of these as similar but the webex contact center cloud is more for advanced capabilities that organizations might need from a contact center perspective things like advanced reporting and analytics um, real-time monitoring pages to view agent activity, uh, real-time and historical reports that you can pull for all the different call volumes and multi-channel experience you might have in your call center. Being able to pull reports on that and seeing the you know volumes within this call center is important for supervisors managing the call center capabilities. WebEx calling is more traditional UCAS functionality, unified communication functionality, as well as you know basic phone system capabilities. Now, when Cisco opened up the CCP connection, again, they allowed third parties like Call Tower to connect into both aspects of different cloud applications, one being the WebEx contact center application, the other being Cisco WebEx calling. So this is an example of how we're connecting. We're taking our cloud-based infrastructure and connecting that via dedicated connections to either WebEx calling or WebEx contact center, depending on the customer's needs. Your agents or your users that are utilizing the phones will be connecting directly to um, the Cisco cloud. Call Tower will be handling the PSTN or the phone system traffic. This time, what I'll do is I'll turn it over to Zach. Zach's gonna be going through the demonstration for you guys as to what the um, WebEx calling application looks like from an end user perspective. He'll hit on some of the feature sets that you guys will be utilizing from a WebEx calling perspective. Things like transferring, conference calling, voicemail capabilities. He's also going to go into the different aspects of E911 service. So at this time, I'll pass it over to Zach and hope you guys enjoy what you see. Today we're looking at the WebEx app for calling. Uh, as you can see here, this is the calling uh, option. Uh, you have a full menu here of recent calls or missed calls. And as you can see under calling, you have a little number here, one. That's actually a call that I did not pick up so it tells me that I have a new call that came in and that person looks like it also left me a voice message so but this is the main keyboard here for uh, dialing uh, you can also this will be interactive with your active directory so if you want you can look up a person and you can actually hit this icon to call them or to start a video call so that's one way to dial or you can dial by putting in the numbers five, eight, five. Three, one, four, and then you would hit the orange button. I'm sorry, the green button here to for dial. So we'll take get rid of that. Uh, I wanted to show the voicemail. It's set up already in your uh, calling tab. You hit a voicemail. This is the one that I miss. You can bring that up. You can listen to it, uh, or from this call, you can actually call the person back or start a video call with them. Uh, leaving it now, so you also have the transcript of the voicemail that was left. So you can listen to it or see the transcript. So when we go back into the calling tab, uh, I'm going to have my partner, Cade, give me a call. I'm going to pick up that call, and then we can see what other features we have. Cade, can you give me a call, please? This is going to show up here. And you can accept this call. And that will show up even if you don't have uh, the calling app up. So it'll automatically go into this uh, dialog box. Once you have that call up, you can hit this keypad if you want to transfer the call. These three buttons here give you the additional options of what you can do. So you can put this call on hold. If you put it on hold, you have the option to 
play music on hold or just leave it blank. You can also transfer the call or you can set up another conference. So if you wanted to transfer the call, you get another keyboard here. You have the option to dial or you can look up another name in your directory. And you can transfer the call to that person. So you have two options if you want to transfer. You can also can transfer with a consult first, where it's a warm transfer. You will actually uh, have the person pick up and you can tell them I have Sam calling from uh, associate a company, or you can just transfer directly to that number. So you have two options to conference and transfer that call. I'm gonna exit out of this. You have the main buttons on here to mute. And again, if you wanna bring up a keypad to dial another number to transfer them in. And again, if you put it on hold, it will either play music or not. And then you would go resume when you're done holding and you get back to that initial call. And to exit, you just hit the end call button. One other option that is critical for your remote users is the E911 setting. So this will actually give you options to put in if you're not in the office if you're working from home, if you're working from another location, you can put that information here. You can save it. It's, it'll become an option um, later on. You can you you could have different options here of settings of for emergency services. So if you do dial nine one one, you're able to uh, the emergency service are able to find where your current location is. Thanks again, everybody, for joining. Um, just so you know, our contact information are on these slides in front of you here. If you guys want to reach out to us for further consultation on WebEx calling or any of the other products that we offer here at Call Tower, feel free to reach out. Um, we hope you enjoyed the webinar slash demo today. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you.